morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here at Paddington Station again. This seems to be here quite a lot, right? Um, I'm here at Paddington Station again uh, because we are beginning a brand new series. <laughs> Another new series. I'm beginning a new series uh, of Shanghai Disney vlogs. Yes, it's gonna be so amazing. So, um, I am doing a work and holiday trip to Shanghai. I've got to go to Shanghai for business. And I'm gonna stop into uh, Disneyland, Shang Shanghai Disneyland, not Disneyland, Shanghai. I'm gonna stop into Shanghai Disneyland whilst I'm there. This time, this time, this time, I am not going alone, believe it or not. <laughs> you know I always go to Shanghai Disneyland alone. This time I'm not going alone. I'm actually going with Karen B. So Karen and I went to Disneyland Paris uh, for my birthday weekend back in March. She's coming along this time to Shanghai as well. And I cannot wait because it's gonna be so fantastic. <laughs> It's going to be so fantastic to see her reaction to some of the stuff in Shanghai. I know she's going to love Tron. I'm hoping she's going to love Pirates as much as I do. I'm sure she will do. It's amazing. It's so good. Anyway, I'm hanging outside uh, the Ego Express right now um, with my ginormous bag, waiting for Karen and her sister, uh, Rachel. You might have seen her in some of her Karen's vlogs. Rachel's sadly not coming with us. She's got to head back to Ireland. Uh, and then Karen and I will be jetting off on a Virgin Atlantic flight uh, from Heathrow. So come along with us today. We're going to do a bit of a travel video. You know, the travel video. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to get to Shanghai on a plane. It's not really that difficult. You get on a flight and land there. Anyway, I'm waiting for Karen. She's a little bit late. We'll be getting on the train in a sec. Yay! You've arrived! Are we getting on this train? This is the one. I'm all kinds of hungover today because we went out for Karen's birthday last night and there was, I didn't even drink that much, it was like two drinks and a shot and I don't know what was in that shot, I feel real funky today. Um, so I've been indulging in hot chips, barbecue flavour of course because they're the best ones. And apparently Sprite is really good if you have motion sickness, I don't know, guys who get motion sickness tell me, um, is, is Sprite a thing? I sort of watched a vlog and some people were having some motion sickness and they kept on drinking Sprite and saying, and then I felt a lot better. So, um, anyway, I'm trying it out because right now I feel particularly funky. <laughs> Ooh, this is brand new. Uh, so this is the Heathrow Express exit now. This wasn't here last time I was here. They have barriers now. I guess some people were uh, skipping, <laughs> skipping out bay and every so often. Heathrow Express is pretty expensive, so I can understand why people do it, but you shouldn't do it again. You should pay for your train tickets. <laughs> but you're gonna get caught now if you don't. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Heathrow Terminal 3, and it ain't rocket science when you come here. If you're flying Virgin, you just go straight to the Virgin desks. Look at that. All of the lovely people dressed in their fancy red. <laughs> Love it. There's our plane, Queen Bee. Queen Bee, I don't think I've ever been on Queen Bee before. <laughs> Very nice. We were in the lounge just a moment ago and um, our flight was called twice. Uh, first for, to say, say that it was boarding and secondly to say that the gate was closing. And actually when we got here, um, the gate was still in boarding status. It's quite a long walk to get out here. So I think they tell you pretty early that um, the gate is closing to give you a long enough time to get to the gate before it goes. And so yeah, just be wary. But still, I mean, you don't want to mess around in the lounge too much and like completely miss your flight. But you do have a perfect amount of time to get to the gates. So don't worry too much. Oh, 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 
So now we're in Shanghai Pudong Airport. It's the main airport here in Shanghai. Uh, it is hot. See you guys later. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's the main airport here in Shanghai. We're going to be taking a taxi over to the Shanghai Disneyland Hotel. I don't know how much I told you guys, um, but we're staying in the Shanghai Disneyland Hotel uh, for three nights and the Toy Story Hotel for two nights. And then I'm moving to a work hotel after that. They're doing this foreigner fingerprint thing at immigration at the moment and I can't remember if I've done it or not. The last time I was here was in March. So I imagine I must have already done it. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to have to put you guys away because I don't think immigration and cameras really go. <laughs> but I'll tell you about it when we get back out the other side. So just quickly guys, this is the foreigner fingerprint self-collection area. Um, I don't know if they what they mean by self-collection but anyway uh, you scan your passport here and then do, uh, scan all your fingerprints uh, four on the left four on the right and the two thumbs and uh, once you do that you get this little slip of paper which says okay on it um, so I got this little slip of paper which says okay and we are taking that over to immigration which is over here I'm through. Karen's just finishing off at immigration now. It was mega fast, very, very quick. I think we were very lucky that there was a lot of Chinese nationals on our flight. And so the number of people, foreigners coming into the country was so few. Um, but after we did the fingerprint scanning thing, we actually went through to proper immigration. Um, they checked, obviously, my Chinese visa was in my passport. Uh, they checked my passport generally for other stamps, for other countries that I've been to around the world. No questions were asked at all. I did have to fill out a disembarkation card like sort of a almost like the old American visa waivers that you used to fill out when you used to go into America before the Esther program and so I had to fill out one of those cards before getting to immigration and he, I handed it to the gentleman uh, the immigration officer and he checked everything through and then let me in all right let's find this find this barrage carousel awesome 24 is this way no it's not yes it is yes it is yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Shay Shay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is crazy. Reception desk is over here and we are just sorting out our bags down here. Uh, so this is my case open, all 24.5 kilograms of it. I've managed to get everything sorted and everything into my park bag, which for today and for the rest of the week is going to be this Alice in Wonderland Cap Kids and one. So we're just finishing up here and then we're going to head over to the park. This is so cute. Kudos in the lobby. <laughs> it's amazing. There you go. Wow. You can feel the humidity. Oh my God. It's so, so hot. That is amazing. It even looks really big from this far away. It's very far away. It's huge. <laughs> It's really hot. 20, it must be 27, 28 now. It's going to get 31 today. Um, so we've checked it in, which is awesome. Obviously, our room's not ready yet. It's 9 o'clock. Well, actually, what's the time now? It's about 11, right? Something like that. It just says 3.43. <laughs> yeah, so. Not helpful. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it, it must be about 11. 10 or 11. Um, and uh, yeah, so they've taken our bags, which is fab. We repacked everything. We, I had to repack everything three times. I kept forgetting stuff. <laughs> and now we're going to see if we can walk over the bridge into the park and pick up our seasonal passes. Um, so because we're here for a week, we've done something quite interesting where rather than pay for passes um, for one or two days, we've gotten their seasonal pass, which is like a three month pass or something, this spring summer pass. Um, obviously, we're already here for a week, but it worked out cheaper for us to do it this way. Um, so that is what we did. That's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to go over to the front of the park, show our passports, pick that up and get in and then see if there's any fast passes to book. It's uh, a bank holiday today, I think. Uh, so I don't think there'll be many fast passes available, but because everybody will be going back to work tomorrow in China, I think the park will be a little empty this evening, I think if my past experience has held true. <laughs> so we're back guys, look at that, three months down, <laughs> we're back at Shanghai Disney. Uh, we're gonna go into the, um, the mega queue area to get into the park today, um, but because we are 
a little bit later than usual, the mega queue has dispersed, which is great. Uh, I, you guys probably remember from the previous videos, but all of this stuff here is Disney Town. All of that stuff is the Lakeside Disney Town stuff, sort of the San Francisco-esque place. <laughs> if you're coming to stay at the Shanghai Disneyland Hotel, you've got two ways to get over to the park. Uh, you could take the boat, which isn't running today because of some festival, and we don't know what festival it is, so we might try and check that out and find out what's going on there. Or you can walk along the Wishing Star Park, or through the Wishing Star Park, which takes you over a bridge over the lake, which is what we did. So, now we're gonna go have a magical day. Um, but it's that seasonal pass entrance. Seasonal pass, seasonal pass. Should we try? Yeah, let's just go. It's not, it's just really, really big. I love all the summery stuff. Look at this. Like the summer season. Mickey Avenue is amazing. What a great place. One of my favorite things here, Scrooge McDuck's Money Bank on Mickey Avenue. This is all the Emporium store here. So like everything that you want to buy is all on this side, like a massive set of stores of t-shirts, jewelry, souvenirs, all the things you need. And over on the other side, sort of more specialist stores, camera stuff, uh, the minis uh, confectionery store, a uh, few bits and pieces like that. And Remy's Patisserie. Which you guys know I absolutely love Remy's Patisserie. I go there so often. Oh my God, Wow. It's crazy, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I love how Karen is so amazed at the moment. Uh, but she's completely right. This piazza up until the castle is crazy. This is a massive piazza. We've got two rides here. So we've got the Fantasia Carousel, which is over there, which I love the theming of, by the way. The Fantasia Carousel is fabulous. Let's get round this balloon guy. <laughs> and uh, the Dumbo uh, ride is actually also before the castle. Uh, so it's in this area. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Gardens of Imagination, something like that. Uh, we've got the... Um, the partner statue here. So got the partner statue here, right in front of the castle. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> got a really good view today for a summer day. It's really lovely and clear. Oh, I love it. I don't know if you can see it that much. There's a few people in the way. But it's awesome. Look at this. So this sort of wave thing that they have set up here in this sort of central area. Uh, every season they have a new statue or a new thing. Balloons, lanterns, whatever, it's always new for every single season, so I haven't seen this one, it's super cute. So we got the castle over here, one of my favorite daunting views of it. Uh, and we are heading off into Fantasyland, uh, which is around here, just a car in there. This is the Pinocchio restaurant around here, which has that amazing Beauty and the Beast string. I don't know if they still have it now, but they did have it for a really long time. Um, there's one of the stores, which I love here, Mickey and Minnie's Mercantile, Mercantile, Mercantile. Also, Voyage to the Crystal Grotto, the ride that I absolutely adore, but always see some really funky Q stuff going on in. <laughs> Peter Pan's here, did I say that already? Uh, also, uh, the Tangle Tree Tavern. And that then edges over into the Winnie the Pooh area as well. Is the Winnie the Pooh area technically still in Fantasyland? I don't really know. I'm not sure. Tangle Tree Tavern. One of the best restaurants here in South Shanghai Disney. You want any recommendations? That wok fried Asian beef with vegetables. You gotta do it guys, it's awesome. Although tangled spicy chicken looks good as well. Anyway, we're after this. I want that, the uh, Rapunzel refresher. Oh, Mickey's very berry slush. Mm. I still think that's a hidden Mickey. I think it's a bit of a funny one, but I do think it is a hidden Mickey. Just hanging out waiting for our drinks now. Seems like they changed the name of the Rapunzel refresher to the Mickey refresher and it now only comes in a cup. So we are getting a cute Mickey cup. It is a cute Mickey cup, but I kind of just wanted just the drink. But anyway, we're getting it, so it's good. And some water because that is necessary right now. <laughs> I've not noticed this before and I don't know if you guys can see, but a bunch of the lanterns here are helmets <laughs> in the Tangle Tree Tavern. I'm guessing it's supposed to be helmets of the Viking. Well, helmets of the people who drink at the tavern. They're just like ruffians, right? <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's been a while, so. Mm. 
Yeah, it's so good. I freaking love this drink so much. I want it to be about four times the size, but I'm happy. So guys, it is happening. We have entered into the section of Treasure Cove where the Pirates music sets in and I start getting really, really excited for my favorite ride in the whole entire world. The whole world. How many times have I said it? The whole world. I absolutely adore this ride. Pirates of the Caribbean in Shanghai Disneyland, I think is the ride of the future. I haven't been on um, Flights of Passage actually, which I know loads and loads of people absolutely love. Um, I will visit that uh, in October this year I'll be going on Flight Passage at Walt Disney World um, but for now this is my number one. I really love this ride. Jack, Gus, Maximus. So Jack and Gus are the mice from Cinderella. Maximus from Tangle. Bullseye from um, from Toy Story. Major and Old Robin. I'd say Old Dobbin. Who's Old Dobbin? <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so excited. The room looks absolutely amazing. We've got row number one. Oh, look this one. Keep you close to my chest, though. It's the first time that Karen's seen it, so I don't want to bug her. Um, so, but yeah, we'll keep you close to my chest and we'll try and get as much of it as we can. My spot is is bouncy over there. What a restaurant. I love it.
Jack get the gold? What do we think is going to happen today, right? He got it! He got it! He got it! Yes! It's so good. I actually think I managed to get Jack transformation on camera this time. I have tried so hard. Uh, we might try and get some food now actually because it's lunchtime and um, actually I think it's the middle of the night for us but never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take a long leisurely walk through the park, grab some noms. So we're going to go out the Dizzy Town exit uh, which is just here. If you're going to try and find this exit, if you're looking at the exit of the park, so away from the castle, it's around to the right. If you're looking at the castle, it's around to the left. <laughs> You can only enter from this entrance in the morning if you're a hotel guest and enter into it throughout the day only if you have entered the park already in that day. Uh, you can exit from it at any time, I believe. Maybe not in the evening. There we go. Alright, let's have to get my umbrella through the metal detector. <laughs> I'm loving on the sun umbrella. I have my Alice in Wonderland sun, sun umbrella. I'll show you guys properly later. It's probably a little bit too difficult to do it right now. Um, but people use sun umbre umbrellas here a lot and I really love that because I think they're great. Um, people don't do that in the US that much. I always feel a bit weirdo when I put my sun umbrella up. Um, but here, loads of people use them. So I'm using my Alice sun umbrella today because it's hot, hot, hot. Yeah, the ultimate red velvet cake. I was like, that's not an ultimate red velvet cake. And then I looked up there. <laughs> That's an ultimate red velvet cake. That looks like a lot of icing and not a lot of cake. Which, I mean, like I'm all for, but oh my goodness, I don't know if I can finish off one of those. Oh, lemon raspberry cream. Yeah, I don't, I'm kind of into this the diamond chocolate cheesecake thing that's going on. We're in the Cheesecake Factory and I really, really, really fancy this dish on the menu for the chicken cashew nuts, spicy chicken cashew nuts, something, something, something like that. And uh, it says very, very spicy on the menu and I, I know this area of China in particular can get pretty spicy. Um, but I still really wanted it, so we're going to try and see. You've turned Karen's taste of it. Is it crazy? It's not crazy. <laughs> I don't think it's spicy. Oh, it's not spicy at all. It's a little, like a little heat at the end. Lies, Cheesecake Factory. I also got raspberry lemonade, which is awesome. I'm gonna finish off this. I think we're gonna have a rest in this afternoon for a little bit. Oh, it's actually very good. I'm quite happy with it. Gosh, it's fancy schmancy. Oh! We are heading over to Tomorrowland in the best time to come to Tomorrowland at night. It's gonna open the Shanghai Disneyland app and you. 